Hmm. Well, <clears throat> it's camera up, which tells me you might have mega camera up. If that's true, that's an annoying threat to my team. It's good thing I have Harry Armor. I'm trying to think what he'd lead with. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Rotom. See, so he leads with camera up, which sucks. He'll probably Mega Evolve, but I'd have to go for a fire move. So I can go on a Feraligator. Then make him think I'm going to go for the water move. We're going to Jinx with Dry Skin. I can follow it up with a return. Yeah, that seems like the right play. Alright. I mean, even this turn, I could just go for a Swords Dance, but it's a bit risky. I think we're better off clicking a Return, because it hits everything on his team. As, yeah, he does predict me to go for the Water-type attack, and I can just bring that Jinx right down. So that was good. We're going to get rid of these rocks. Um, yeah, he expected the Water move. Uh... Don't know what you see, mate. Um, then again, I can probably just live a hit from this Jinx, can't I? Go for the Ice Punch. As he ends up having Energy Ball. Right, well, that's a dead Jinx. Not exactly thrilled with uh, Feraligator being this low on health. But I look at his team, and I don't really see Feraligator sweeping it anyway. Miss Magius. Um, I mean, I have a uh, Probo Pass, which basically just eats up those hits. Plus, gives me a chance to get rocks up. The moment Miss Magius goes, I have a free way of getting rocks up all the time, which is pretty awesome. Will O Wisp? Nasty plot, which is terrifying. I really want rocks up, though, because it just deals with a lot of threats here. Yeah, it does nothing. I don't really need Probe Pass that much, though. Um, it checks Swellow really well, but I already do have Avalug, which does that. And then once this goes, I can just go straight into um, my Rotom. So we're going to go for Volt Switch. Of course we die. But what this will just give me is that free switch into my Rotom. Now here's the 50-50, guys. This is where it gets a little bit, a little bit tricky. Okay. He doesn't know that I'm scarfed. He might think that I'm scarfed. But the 50 50 is he may go into Swellow. He might. But then again, I do have Avalog, which can eat up all Swellow's hits. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the Shadow Ball and reveal that I'm scarfed. I know he can go into Swellow now, but. So that's going to Slacking. Which is kind of amazing for me. Because I can go into Avalog, take any hit he throws at me, and then recover. I um, don't know why that's lagging, but it was. Giga Impact brings me right down, but I do not die, which is amazing. Um, he still has his Stealth Rocker. He has to recharge. It's 73. I recover 50%, heal up. It's almost better using Avalog now to rapid spin. Get him to Giga Impact me again. So then I can go into Feraligator. But I don't think Aqua Jet would kill. I still want to use Rapid Spin. Before I go. I didn't expect it to do that much. Also, I didn't think he'd go for Giga Impact. There's no point now. I actually could have recovered that turn and then gone straight back out to Rotom. Which probably would have been a better play. I'm going to go for uh, Recover in case he misses. But I didn't think it would. Perfect. Is it actually fine by me that he's done that? Because um, I do now get the free switch into Hariyama. And he doesn't really have much for a uh, close combat from my Hariyama. So that's just going to die. Cool. Free switch into Swellow, which is annoying. It's kind of really annoying. I need to keep uh, for Alligator alive just to kill off the camera up. Um, Vile Plume can deal with Hariyama, it's kind of. Um, yeah, i got to go into Casper here. And hope I can eat up a hit. Yum. Actually, that was really well done. So he's Flame Orb. He may go into K 
camera up. Because he knows I can outspeed him, he may go into camera up. So I really want to predict that and go straight into my Feraligator. But if I misplay this, it's going to make left difficult. I'm going to go for it. What? Why would you do that? Alright, so he just decided to sack his Swellow for some reason, which is completely fine by me. Um, the question is, does Hariyama have enough attack to kill Swellow from there? Actually, what am I talking about? I can just go into this now. Because if he switches out now, he basically is just going to die later on, because I have Bullet Punch from Hariyama. So now I just don't care. If he wants to switch out now, I really don't care. Okay. Useless crit. We're going to go out to... <sighs> Vileplume. Basically, if he goes out to camera up now, it's all good. I'm relying on keeping something alive so that my Hariyama can beat his Hariyama, so he does go out to camera up. I should win a speed die. As long as he's not max speed, but who runs max speed camera up? I think Sludge Bomb is resisted, so we're going to go for Giga Drain. Does an alright chunk. Lava Plume might not even kill. Wow, it does. I forgot about Sheer Force, but whatever. So now I believe Hariyama's close combat of 372 attack. I'd assume that's enough to kill. I really would. I know I outspeed. And it does kill. So this is pretty awesome, the situation I'm in now. Basically throws him into a 50-50 here. Where I really want him to predict me to go out to my Rotom. And go for the knockoff. Let's do it. Really, honestly expecting his Hariyama right now to want to go for knockoff, knowing that I could just switch straight out to Rotom and reverse the stat drop. So I'm trying to bait him into a knockoff here. Because close combat would kill. Easily. I've also got extra speed EVs in this, so if he doesn't have any speed investment, I outspeed him. As you see there. That does oh, enough damage anyway now to basically finish it. As he goes for Poison Jab, which I live and don't get poisoned. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's basically GG now. Because I can Bullet Punch before he Bullet Punches. And that gets me off enough damage to where I can then finish him with my Rotom. Turns out he doesn't have Bullet Punch. Cool. Doesn't matter. Uh, Casper outspeeds anyway. And so I can just click a safe Thunderbolt. Like, that's a pretty, pretty easy assumption. 9 out of 10 Harry Armors you will face will have Bullet Punch as their priority. I don't think you can learn Sucker Punch. If you learn Sucker Punch, people will use it more. Doesn't matter. That was a close one, though. Just slowly climbing. I don't even know what the new ladder's like. But that was pretty good. Move on to the next one.